Pauline Dean, <coughs> Grants Pass. Since the, um, since the pastor's sermon has went viral, obviously, so did the consternation and d grievous disappointment in, in him by many others. So I have this open letter to Pastor Dennis Weber of the Parkway Christian Center here. Sir, I sincerely want to believe that the comments you made on a YouTube video I watched with you, your sheriff and a couple of other gentlemen were made out of an, uh, made out of an innocent ignorance. I truly would rather believe this scenario than to think you, that you know the truth of Romans 13 and are intentionally misleading your flock and others. Mr. Weber, to give you the benefit of the doubt, I'm going to assume that you just need a bit of biblical instruction. So here goes. Nowhere in Romans 13 are we instructed to obey the evil civil authority. Since this passage was written from prison by a lawbreaker named Paul, then one would have to assume that Paul was an unrighteous man for disobeying the civil authority and a hypocrite. Of course, the same is true of the apostles and thousands more that were slaughtered by the civil authority of Rome for obeying their unrighteous laws, right? How ignorant is it to teach unlimited submission to man's government? Hmm. Now, we must not forget all of the unrighteous men who actually armed themselves against their government in 1776. Wow, what a bunch of sinners. How many more, Mr. Weber, should I take the time to mention that knew your interpretation of Romans 13 is actually from being naive, ignorant of God's word, or an outright false teaching used to mislead the people? How about in Acts 5.29, when Peter and others told the ungodly church leaders, of the day that they would obey God rather than men. They were just released by angels from prison where they, they were placed for preaching. They must have been truly unrighteous men for going against an unrighteous bunch of hypocrites and civil authorities. I imagine that. And even after being beaten, they still didn't understand that Paul had taught them to obey man's laws no matter what. In Acts 17, Paul was accused of preaching there is another king than Caesar, who is, was civil authority. In Colossians 1, 16, 18, he also taught that Christ had preeminence over all things. Thank you. <laughs>